the Ludo Flagstaff Ibuku Ikenga Road. Anambra government commenced cervical cancer screening treatment campaign. At the seals of a legal granite site in Oka. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround of the maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of Koiba values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast News right here on ABS Television. I am Priska Wonko. Governor Chikuma Saludo has plucked up the 10.95 kilometer Ibuku Ikenga Road. Ikenga community has never seen a square foot of tarred road. Government House correspondent A.G. Kabana filed in this report. Governor Saludo revealed that road infrastructure is the number one problem faced by Indianambra, followed by flood saying that his government identifies with people who seem to be forgotten in line with Apga mantra, leave no one behind. While empathizing with the members of the community over the hardship they experienced as a result of the bad roads, the governor pointed out that infrastructural project is simultaneously ongoing in every local government area of the state. He stated that road infrastructure is the key to building a livable and prosperous homeland and also stressed that infrastructural development is at the heart of his administration's agenda. Governor Soludo asked the contractor to deliver according to specification and on schedule as the remaining contract money is available once he is done. I said it during the campaign that I was going to declare a state of emergency on roads and I have done exactly that. And I promised the Anambra people that Anambra will become one large construction site and that's precisely what we're doing. I'll be constructing road construction in every local government that will go on simultaneously. We've already awarded more than probably now getting to 180, but we intend to get to at least 220, 250 uh, in the coming month. And we're also having very a kind of road design that we haven't seen before in the state. The Commissioner for Works, Engineer Ifa Nyokoma, among others, we are present at the ceremony. Anambra State Deputy Governor Dr. Nyekachuku Ibezim has called on the Anambra to continue to support victims of flood disaster in the state to enable them to start life over having lost almost everything to the incidents. The Deputy Governor made the call during a Sunday service at the Max Anglican Church in Mawolo, Okasad local government area. Government House correspondent Emmanuel Okonko reports. Deputy Governor Ibezim was stressing that the present condition of the flood, of the flood victims, need more assistance, encourage people and groups from across the state to come to their aid. He commended churches for harboring the victims in their premises and assisting them to survive this period. Dr. Ibezim explained that the state government will commence post-flood rehabilitation processes to ensure that the affected persons start life again. But they can apply here for late only. The church workers, their uh, colleagues accepted a lot of families and the government is doing great. So even the women who already have a loss of, I am coordinating that process in the state. The governor is open to help you. Earlier in a sermon, the Archbishop Province of the Niger, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim, called on Christians to intensify efforts towards winning souls to the populate hell and populate heaven. We use the deputy governor, Dr. Ode Kachuku Ibezim, as a point of contact to the governor of Anambra State, His Excellency Professor Charles Soludo, to pray Lord that at this critical time of governance, you will give them the spirit of wisdom. May God give you wisdom. May God give you strength. May God give you courage. The service was attended by the President Women's Ministry, Mrs. Mata Ibezim, the Lego team of the Diocese, the Managing Director, Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, Sachido Obidiegu, among others. Wife of the governor of Anambra State, Mrs. Noye Saludo, has urged women to turn out massively for the cervical cancer screening and treatment exercise in the state. 
Mr. Saludo stated this during the official flag off of cervical cancer screening and treatment campaign in Anambra State at the Chukwameka Odomi Wujuku University Teaching Hospital, Amako Oka. Daniel Ezigwe has details of this report. Every exercise is run through a partnership with World Health Organization, WHO, Clinton SSF Initiative, Thai, and Anambra State Minister of Health. WHO and Thai will be providing logistical and technical support for the pilot phase of the program, which would cover 5,000 Anambra women of reproductive age. Speaking during the flag of Mrs. Saludo commended the health partnership and urged women to make themselves available for the exercise at designated hospitals. The governor's wife pointed out that early diagnosis remains the most important step in eradicating the killer disease and said that with the exercise having been tailored to have widespread, she was optimistic it will bear good results. I truly thank you for this. The Ministry of Health, under the direction of Mr. Commissioner for Health, Dr. Alfan, then OBDK, deserves praise. Honestly, he does. As well as well for eliminating all bottlenecks and establishing a fantastic working relationship with all pertinent parties. We have made a good start today. And we will work harder to make sure that every woman in the state has access to this service. It's good that we thank the, the wife of our governor for this great uh, uh, mission because we talked too about sustainability. So this is going to be a, a way we are going to be sustainable. But now, today, we are doing something far off. We are trying to, it's a war telling people, please come out to do, to test yourself. Please come out, don't be shy. Some be limited by finance. Come out. You will be tested and it's going to be without any single cost for you. The only thing you will go is in, 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 for you to bring out yourself and come there and you will be treated. Then the, the commissioner mentioned that cervical cancer is preventable and also curable. Um, it's one of those cancers that make inequality in access to care very, very obvious because uh, most of the deaths, 300,000 deaths that are called in 2018 uh, from cervical cancer, we are in low and middle income countries. And so it's the thing of joy that the government of Anambra State and the Ministry of Health is making cervical cancer a priority in terms of um, public health um, elimination. The state government has provided the contract volume three months ago for 10 million. And then for this project, cervical cancer is about 57 million. WHO is providing 37 million, while the state government, the 9.2 million immediately debate after the meeting. The following day, the governor released the 9.2 million to the, state, the Minister of Health. So we like to appreciate that uh, the governor and her excellency for all the political will and commitment. What was satisfying by the flagging of this activity in the community, in the facility that serves the community uh, in a number of states, uh, this shows the most commitment we have uh, for our people uh, to ensure that we achieve the security of the European Union. Um, just to say that Chai is uh, very much committed uh, to supporting the children uh, in the state. The governor's wife and wife of deputy governor, Mrs. Olushi Bezim, also run a demo of cervical cancer screening process. The commissioner for special duties, Barrister Sly Ezokemwa, the executive secretary of Anambra State Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Chioma Ezenimul, the executive secretary of Anambra State Health Insurance Agency, Asia, Dr. Simeon Oyemechi, among others, attended the flag of. Officials of the Oka Capital Territory Development Authority, ATDA, has sealed off an illegal granite site of Regina Shirley Junction, Oka, Oka South Local Government Area. The officials, led by its managing director and chief executive officer, Mr. O.C. Onoko, equally inspected at Timber Market, Umu Oka, among others. Correspondent Chibuzo Ukwe completes the story. Speaking to the ABS shortly after the sealing of the granite site, Mr. Onoko said that the owner of the site illegally acquired the area, which is against the ATDA guidelines, and has deviantly continued to engage in illegal commercial activities in the place. 
he revealed that his predecessor and his team had told him to stop the illegal activities before his resumption, but he has not obeyed the order and made it clear that the site owner has been given five days ultimatum to leave the place or ATDA will confiscate everything in the site as it negates the aesthetic plan of the area. Okay, we are here to enforce evacuation order, immediate evacuation order. Uh, the company, Seaman Group, mm. has illegally acquired this place and uh, continued, definitely continued, to use it for illegal practices and illegal processes. Well, part of our enforcement mandate is to make sure that this stands orderly. These are pedestrian uh, walkways and uh, the attendant traffic situation that it brings to this, it causes to this area is uh, quite alarming. So if you come here in the evening, they are almost into the, into the middle of the road, and we cannot be, we cannot, we cannot tolerate that. We cannot. So from now on, we are going to every day daily. We are going to be going through all the streets of Oka, the capital territory, because when we are talking of the capital territory, we are talking of the three, 23, 24 communities within six local governments. The Atba head of development control, Mr. Charles Ekunife, regretted that the company had deliberately ignored all the removal orders given to them in the past and warned all those who would later engage in such illegal activities to desist forthwith or face the full rod of the law. Faced the city by this position where this man is encroaching, is, is defacing the city, especially as this place constitutes the major city center of the capital territory and states. Um, apart from that, this place has been set out this place has been set out as and from the original master plan as the landing point of the of the pedestrian I mean vehicular overhead run across the express from the from this avenue through the Regina Chelly Road to land here into Okuno and Patliki Street and other ways. It's a very dangerous thing for them to set up this kind of business because in this case now we are give him we're going to give him five days to remove this chip or granite and remove his vehicles here. After that five days, we will come here, we will, we will remove, we will take away everything that, that we meet on this site. At Timber Market Mopoka, the Atsna boss frowned at the rate at which they built lock-up shops without approvals and noted that the market did not observe the 25 meters approval set that code from the federal road. Mr. Onuko maintained that under his watch, the agency will do everything humanly possible to restore the glory of the city, according to Governor Chu Masaludo's administration policy of making Anambra a prosperous, mega, and livable homeland. In Oka, this is Chibu Zokoye for ABS News. Youth of Onicha Extraction have celebrated their 2022 Ofala Carnival, the event which attracted youth from various villages in Onicha, showcased the rich cultural heritage of the community. Correspondent Emengini Osadebe reports that the youth marched around various streets of the town, dancing in admiration of the people. Her reports. The youths drawn from the nine villages that made up the town were all dressed in different attires representing different constituent leadership structures in Onicha, which include the Obia of Onicha, Ndi Uchi Onicha, Abalanza Onicha, Ndi Diopa, Ndi Otuodun, Iboro Onicha, Ebenu Oba, among others. The OB of Onicha, Igwe Alfred Achebe, while breaking the color knot presented to him by the youths, Describe this year's youth carnival as the best so far and pray God for the unity and peaceful coexistence of our nature. Speaking to the ABS at Imo B. Oboza, 
the Onisha National Youth President, Barrister Ernest Ophia, said the youths of Onisha decided to hold the carnival in honor of Igwe Alfred Achebe, showing the world that they are happy that the throne of Ezechima is being celebrated, describing Igwe Achebe as a father to all who values the welfare of his people. The youths have vowed that they must take the front seat to change everything. So based on that, I should advise them to be consistent, patient, perseverance and understanding and also honor thy father and thy mother. On his part, the planning committee chairman of Fala Onicha Youth Music Carnival, Mr. Onye Katichukura, said the essence of the carnival was to heat up the town and also to create awareness for the Ofala festival proper and called on the youth to always identify with their culture. Contributing, the lady organizer, Anambra State Association of Town Unions and Onicha Youth Council, Mrs. Chizoba Ifueme, who described Ofala Onicha as one of the best things that has happened to Onicha Adonidu, said the rich cultural heritage of Ndi Onicha came to bear as the town is blessed with so many cultures and traditions, adding that the carnival, which is an annual event, usually takes place before the Ofala festival, calling on the youth to be of good behavior, remain focused and committed for the actualization of their goals in life. <laughs> Mali be fat joy bon in life. Nando fa. Basi e boike. We we ngata ifa fat jo. Meanwhile, the first indigenous mobile telecommunication industry, Global Com Limited, dotted the venue of the event with their presence, indicating sponsorship of the 2022 Ofala Onicha Festival. High point of the carnival was the royal dance to the Egwata music by the Igwe and Ndichie. <laughs> The Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSE, has paid a familiarization visit to the managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, Achido Bidiabu, to seek the collaborations of the establishments in different areas of development. The chairman of NSE, Orca Branch, Ijida David Okeke, led all the members of the union to the visit. Correspondent Blessing Dennis has the details. NSE is a professional body for engineers dedicated to providing quality service that enhances professional competence and development of its members at all times and enforcing a high standard of performance and professional ethics among its members. In his speech, Engineer KK congratulated Sachido on his appointment as the managing director of ABS and informed him of their investiture program that will take place early next month, which will feature induction of new members and awards. The main purpose of this visit by NSC Oka branch is for formalization, for him to know that we already have a new executive in the Nigeria of Engineers Oka branch, is to continue to strengthen our partnership, which we have been doing in the past. On his part, a former chairman of NSE, Engineer Sylvester of Fordile said it is important for engineers to be professionals in their field to reduce the incidence of building collapses as an error by an engineer can lead to the death of many and loss of resources. Responding, Sachido assured them of the massive support and collaboration of the establishment saying that the vision and mission of NSE, if upheld, will help in achieving Governor Chukuma Soludo's vision for the states. It is interesting to hear that uh, there has been a standing relationship between Nigeria Society of Engineers and uh, ABS. So clearly I'm sure that what you want is for, for that relationship to continue. I expect that it will be more, more, more cordial than, the, than it used to be. In the first place, we have a, a governor, Mr. Chukuma Charles Soludo, who has a dream that uh, it will build a livable, prosperous, clean, green, secure homeland, which is an Anambra state. Remember, you can follow ABS in many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television Orca. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television or her follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website www.absradiotv.com.
To end the news this morning, a recap of the main points. Anambra Governor Soluvo has flagged off Iwuhu Ikenga Road. Anambra Government has commenced a vehicle cancer screening treatment campaign. Atner has sealed up a legal granite site in Oka. Here is the special message. Governor Chukuma Soluvo has come for a total to around the maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. That ends the breakfast news at this time on ABS television. Thanks for watching. I am Priska Wongo. Good morning and have a happy Sunday.